The Phoenix 5 supplies a huge variety of data fields. In this video I'm going to show you how you add some of the power fields in case you have a power meter to be shown while you are biking indoors or outdoors. So the first thing you do is to go to the activities menu, go to bike and push and hold the middle button on the left side, you'll get to bike settings data screens and you'll see the default screen supplied by Garmin. If you go all the way down you'll see a plus sign and you get add new in the menu. So enter here and you'll see there already is a power field here. However if you push that the, this is a preset supplied by Garmin. It only gives you the 3 second power as well as your cadence. So I usually prefer having a few more fields during my bike rides. So go back, hit data screens, all the way down until you get to add new and hit custom data. So the first thing you have to decide is how many, how many uh, data fields you want to be shown at the same time. It can be one, two, three or four. So we go for three in this case. And for our first field, what I usually have is I have my 30 second average power. So to find that, go down to power fields, power. If you go down, you'll find your 3 second average power, 10 second and 30 second. So I'll enter the 30 second average power. For my second field, I usually have my normalized power. You go down to power fields and to find the normalized power you have to go down to advanced intensity factor TSS and normalized power the last field what I usually have I also have my 3 second average power so go down to power fields again hit power if you go down you'll find the 3 second average power there you go, there's a, a power field added to your bike profile. 